Yes. And roll. Down further. In that round circle. There you go. Good day to you all. If you will please put your palms together for meditation reading. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Words of the Buddha. If you would please join me in Gasho. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. Namo Amidabhats. No mind else, no mind else, no mind else, no mind else. 2020 has been a very unusual year for the whole world. And we have had a most difficult time in adjusting with the pandemic. Although this virus has changed our lives and thinking, we have endured with the support of the Buddha's compassion and wisdom. We tend to see only the negative side of the situation, yet there are also the positive side. We have encountered the kindness of neighbors and strangers and discovered a renewal of family ties. The time we have spent together has strengthened relationships with each other and we are actually talking with each other. It is during this time that we have shown our patience, kindness, and gratitude. This time has also been a time of learning. Some have learned to prioritize and come to terms with what is important in their lives. We have learned to share in responsibility of caring for our children. On the other hand, we have learned to make sourdough bread, have improved our cooking skills, or improved on computer skills. We have come to appreciate what teachers really do for our children. 
However, this time has also given us the time to appreciate and better understand the Buddha's teaching. In Japan, the ringing of the Moncho, or big bell outside, is rung to mark the hours of work and rest. It is also used to summon followers to the temple. The reverberation of the bell is also regarded as the voice of the Buddha. According to Buddhist tradition or rituals, on the last day of the year, the Boncho is rung 108 times. It is to awaken all beings from their spiritual slumber. These rings are our bono, or deluded, misled passions. We experience our lives through our five senses of hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and feeling. However, in Buddhism, there is an extra perception, and it is the mind or consciousness. These six senses play on our sagacity, which are knowledge, understanding, foresight, and or good judgment. With each six sense, there may be pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral feelings which results in 18 various feelings. With each 18 feelings, we multiply each experience with either pleasure or a detachment from pleasure. We now have 36. Each feeling is a passion that is manifested in the past, present, and future. This makes for a total of 108 blind or deluded passions. As Guadalupe and slow Buddhist church members rang the bell to ring in the new year for all, we wish for a better year than before. We as human beings tend to try to ignore the past if it does not suit us. We can use our past experiences, journeys, as a learning tool. We can begin to understand why or how our past journeys have formed our way of thinking. We can begin to know what our true self is and how we can change. But it is easier to forget the past and toss those unpleasantries away. We try to avoid those negative situations and clutch only onto the positive. Yet, we are never satisfied. Our desires and greed are never satiated. We continue in this endless cycle of frustration, suffering, greed, anger, and ignorance. Science has devised a measure of time, breaking it down by seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, and years, as well as past, present, and future. At the same time, we have the ability to look back and also look ahead. We begin to reflect on the coming year and hope that it will be better than the past. Can we really see what lies ahead? Are we so self-centered that we can think we can plan the next year? We always have hope, but hope is not enough. It is our Namu Amidabutsu, Nembutsu, in gratitude and thankfulness for being able to inhale and exhale. We are alive, able to see, hear, smell, taste, feel, and think. But it is so easy to have our ego 
turn this thinking into self-centeredness and greed. Our past history has shown our strength, resiliency, and endurance. This history can teach us what we must do to survive in the present and the future, which is yet to be seen. There are so many teachings to learn during the present and for the new year. During the present and new year, we can remember the teachings of the golden chain, of being kind and gentle to all living things. We protect those who are weaker than ourselves. We can try to think pure and beautiful thoughts, to say pure and beautiful words, and to do pure and beautiful deeds. We can read and practice the six paramitas, or perfections, and remember the teachings of the Eightfold Path. We can bring a peace to others and share in their happiness. We have our Namo Amidabhasa to help overcome what may occur. In the coming new year, we can go beyond ourselves and deepen our entrusting in Nembutsu. We can awaken to the Buddha's light of wisdom and compassion. We are always surrounded with peace shared with us by the Buddha, and we share our gratitude and thankfulness through Namo Amidabutsu. We entrust in Nembutsu for guidance and direction. The new year will be different, and whether 2020 was good or not, we can be thankful to be alive and we can change. During this coming new year, may it be a time to devote ourselves in pursuing the truth and finding our true self. While searching for the truth, it is always Namo Amidabutsu with a true heart and mind. Here's wishing you a happy new year filled with the Buddha's wisdom and compassion. If you would please put your palms together in God's show. Namo Amidabutsu. 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 Namo Amidabutsu.